Hi everybody, good Friday evening to you and welcome to emergency softball coverage on VibeFortBend.com. We got here just in time. The Panther girls have tied the game at one all in their half of the sixth inning. It is 1-1 as they take on Seven Lakes and Ridge Point has to win this one to stay alive and push it to a game three tomorrow, which if they can do it, you'll hear in its entirety on VibeFortBend.com. Megan Kelly with a ground ball to Malin Simmons, and that is the first out of the top of the seventh inning in this one-to-one -one ball game. I have an unusual setup here. It's my slap it together in a few seconds kind of setup, so I'm sitting right here by the Ridge Point baseball players who just defeated Travis by a score of six to nothing, and the game ended just over an hour ago, I think. And I'm not going to sound as intelligent as I normally do. Ashley Abel with a 306 batting average on the year. First pitch swinging to Grace Yannick, the third base player, and over to Reagan Green for the second out. The hits are even at three, and the game is tied one to one. Travis has already been eliminated from the playoffs by the Cinco Ranch Cougars, and they were the champions of District 26A. So Ridge Point may be District 26A's only hope. Bailey Gray on the mound for the Ridge Point Panthers and somehow they found a way to get a run. I don't even know exactly how it happened. I know Grace Yannick hit it to the right center field gap and she kept on running and scored. Somebody made a bad throw. Ridge Point will certainly take it. And now Emily Johnson, junior, right-handed hitter for Seven Lakes, is standing in there. And the count is one and one as Bailey Gray works to her. Bright sunlight over the right center field fence. That pitch is up just a little bit, evidently. By the way, these Ridgepoint baseball players will have no mercy on any umpire who calls it, in their judgment, unfairly. Here's the 1-1. One, one. It's a little tapper that goes foul off the left side. This game is right here in Siena. And if Ridge Point can win this one, they'll play here again tomorrow at 12 noon. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. And it's softly hit to third base, but it goes foul by inches. Holly Copeman, who used to coach in Fort Bend ISD, is the head coach of these Seven Lakes Spartans. She used to be with the Austin Bulldogs. Emily Johnson digging in from the right-handed box. Bailey Gray brings it, and that's high for a ball, and it squirts out of the mitt of the catcher for Ridge Point. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a foul tip. Both fans with great crowds, but of course the uh, Ridge Point crowd, since this is their home ballpark, is bigger. Pitch to Johnson. Called strike three, down she goes. We'll be back with the bottom of the seventh. It is one to one. A run for the Panthers would win it. We'll be back. I've got another big hit for you. Did you? Hey, Becky G. 
Can you play your next hit? <laughs> I will, I will, as soon as it's released. But I've got another big hit for you. Did you know that with Xfinity Internet, you get fast, reliable speeds to fit your needs and budget? Oh, that's nice. Even Wi-Fi speeds, faster than a gig to power all your devices. Best of all, you could save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. It's official. That's a hit. Hey, we're on the radio. Now everyone can get the best value with Xfinity. Can your internet do that? Get gig speed internet now for just $49.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract when you also get Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 63022. Restrictions apply. New gigabit internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and X5 gateway. Actual speeds vary. Compares pricing of top carriers. Xfinity internet required. All right, bottom of the seventh. Riley Ship leads it off for the Lady Panthers. This game is tied one to one. It had been one to nothing, seven lakes since the top of the fourth. Open stance from the left handed box. Ship takes strike one. On the mound for seven lakes is Amy Abke, and she's been a tough customer. That run that Yannick scored was the first run of the series for the Panthers. The pitch is in there for a strike because I think while Riley tried to check her swing, she went around. Nothing into the count. Abke brings it. Just missed outside. Abke is someone you wouldn't really be surprised that she's a fine pitcher. She has an ERA of 1.73 for the year and 140 strikeouts. Ship started to swing, laid off, and it's a ball outside. Two and two. Riley Ship headed for Letourneau University in Longview in the fall to play softball there. Abke brings it. And she hits it down the left field line, but it lands about 15 feet foul. And we'll do the two and two all over again. One to one. Roger Smith and the silent partner, Les Clary, producer extraordinaire inside the mothership to get the dramatic conclusion of this one. And it's ball three high. Abke looking over at the dugout. Ship ready, the 3-2. Swings and gets a piece. Went back to the dugout, or the backstop rather. Sun going down over the trees beyond the right center field fence and the lights are on. This game is tied. It might stay tied for a long time. Riley Ship ready for another 3-2. Gets a piece. Fights it off. Fouls it over near the on-deck area on the third base side. Bailey Gray has to step out of the way. I'm going on battery power, and I got to hope it holds up. Abke looks over at the dugout. Ship waiting patiently. Here's the 3-2. Ground ball slowly hit towards shortstop and Ship is out. That was their shortstop, Mackenzie Stutz. Now Bailey Gray comes up next and There was one out, nobody on. Blaine Simmons will hit next. The pitch from Abke upstairs to Bailey Gray. See, I just got to this ball game and uh, just catching up. And all I can tell you about is what I see on the scoreboard and I know what Grace Yannick did 
in the bottom of the sixth to tie this game. That pitch is outside, two and nothing on Bailey Gray. Facing her pitching counterpart. Holly Copeman, the head coach, flashes the sign. Here comes the 2-0. Gray hits it, but it's an easy pop-up to the shortstop Stutz. And there are two outs. So I learned from something when I came into a ball game and I didn't have a place to plug in. And I thought that the laptop could go on battery power and it ran out. Well, if it starts to get low, I know where to go. Into the press box to plug this sucker in. But the sound is better if I'm out here in the stands. All right. Here's Blaine, Blaine Simmons. And she takes a strike on the inside corner. Callie Mays waiting to bat next. Blaine, like her sister Malin, bats lefty. She steps in, Abke delivers way upstairs and beyond the catcher, Emma Wingate. Blaine grabs a handful of dirt for the left hand, which has no glove on it. But she's got a glove on the right hand, steps in. The count is one and one, here it comes. Low, ball two. Blaine draws something in the dirt to remind her of something. Steps in. Here's the two one. And it's down the right field line but caught by the second base player. I just can't say second baseman about a girl. I can't bring myself to do it. That's Dulce Franco. All right, we are headed to extra innings. We are in the eighth. It is one-to-one. Ridgepoint having to win to keep this series alive and push it to a game three. You're listening to VipeFortBend.com. Hey, batter, 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 swing. Oops, should have said driver. We love baseball season at First Tire and Automotive and want to see you swing by for great deals. $50 off brake pad replacement, buy one get one free windshield wiper blades, $100 off four tires or $50 off two tires, and save up to $100 on Michelin, Continental, Goodyear, and Hercules tires. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. we're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week we hope to see you soon Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local, hometown, trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and 9 auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Cecilia Sauer leads it off in the top of the eighth. One to one, Ridgepoint and Seven Lakes. If Seven Lakes wins, they advance to the area round of the playoffs and Ridgepoint has to win to get it to a game three tomorrow. Cecilia Sauer is a player with power, and I didn't mean to make a rhyme, but it just happened that way. She's capable of hitting it out. The wind is blowing in from left field, but not very hard. Seven Lakes has the Astros colors. They have the road gray uniforms on with the orange belts, 
Navy blue numerals and letters outlined in orange and the orange socks. Bailey Gray brings the first one. Sauer takes the strike. Ridgepoint wearing the home purple. They got the white shoulders and sleeves. Ridgepoint in all caps in white letters across the front. Second pitch is also in there for a strike. Bailey Gray is ahead, nothing in two. And the third pitch misses its ball one. Gray was trying to get Sauer to chase. That wasn't happening. Next up will be Rebecca Rabe. That pitch is outside and it's two and two. My statement about the wind was based on what the flags are doing, but here in the stands, we're not feeling any breeze at all. Sauer fights one off and fouls it into the screen. Righty versus righty. Gray takes a short walk to the back of the pitcher's circle. Now she's ready to go with the 2-2. Here it comes. It's a ground ball to Yannick at third and it goes under her. Into left field. E5 gets a runner on for seven legs to begin the eighth. Now Rebecca Rabe, R-A-B-E. I could have sworn that last year when I broadcasted a playoff game, they said it was Rabe, but public address announcer David Simmons is saying Rabe. So maybe it is Rabe. I'm just gonna call her Rebecca. She offers a bunt attempt at the first pitch. And I don't know if it's a ball or a strike. The umpire didn't make a, single, uh, a signal. And I think Rebecca kind of stabbed at it. Now the home plate umpire is going over there to the dugout and I'm not sure what's going on, except I do know there is a courtesy runner, Olivia Martinez, coming in to run for Sauer. Rebecca Rabe or Rabe. You know, we were talking about how last names get changed because maybe somebody thinks it sounds better. Rebecca puts the bunt down. Yannick picks it up, throws to first in time. Jade Uresti covering. And they get the, the courtesy runner Martinez to second with one away. Now it's up to Dulce Franco who has a sweet 500 batting average for the season coming into these playoffs and an on-base percentage of 571. That was during her district games and that's in a high quality district. Right-handed hitter. Bailey Gray brings her the first one. Healthy cut, swing and a miss. Nothing in one. This is bonus coverage. We had the Travis Tigers boys going down to defeat in baseball earlier today. Ridge Point beat them six to nothing. And there's a called strike, nothing in two. So it's been a bad, bad day for Travis as they got knocked out of the softball playoffs and got shut out in the season finale against Ridgepoint. Could be a great day for Ridgepoint. Bailey Gray brings it, change up, and it's Malin Simmons throws to third. They tag the runner out. Martinez is out at third. Simmons threw it to Yannick. Safe on the fielder's choice is Dulce Franco. Now batting, Spartan shortstop, number three. Now Mackenzie Stutz in Derrick, in district. A 310 batting average, didn't make a single error at shortstop. She was 321 hitting for the whole season. First pitch to her is high. Mackenzie Stutz with 
three T's in her last name, but not all in a row, obviously. That pitch is in there for a strike. And I'm looking at the umpire from the side. I think he might have held up no fingers on the left hand and two on the right. I think it's 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Obviously, it was one strike. Now it's two strikes. Bailey Gray allowed the leadoff hitter to get on, but she's one out away from getting out of this mini jam. Here's the pitch to Stutz. Ground ball between third and short and into left field. Riley Ship gets it back in quickly. Seven Lakes still alive in the top of the eighth with runners at first and second with two outs. Now it's Emma Wingate, the catcher. Now batting for Seven Lakes, catcher number eight, Emma Wingate. That ball just had eyes. It was pretty weak contact, but it got through into left field. Wingate ready, Bailey Gray brings it, and it's a fly ball, short right field, out goes Uresti. She's got it, the second base woman. She's about 10 feet into the outfield grass when she makes that grab. And the top of the eighth is over, we'll be back, and Ridgepoint can win it with a single run when we return. Hey, Becky G. Can you play your next hit? <laughs> I will, I will, as soon as it's released. But I've got another big hit for you. Did you know that with Xfinity Internet, you get fast, reliable speeds to fit your needs and budget? Oh, that's nice. Even Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power all your devices. Best of all, you could save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. It's official. That's a hit. Hey, we're on the radio. Now everyone can get the best value with Xfinity. Can your internet do that? Get gig speed internet now for just $49.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract when you also get Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 63022. Restrictions apply. New gigabit internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and x gateway. Actual speeds vary. Compares pricing of top carriers. Xfinity internet required. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max and OfficeDepot.com. We want to thank the folks at Office Depot Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland. They take care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. I've got to go back to my records and check, but this is probably the 120th game or so that we've done this school year. Ridgepoint, you ought to love us. We bring everybody, your team's volleyball matches, football games, basketball, as well as baseball and softball. Now, Callie Mays, the number nine place hitter, leads it off for Ridgepoint in the bottom of the eighth, needing one run to win this game too. Melin Simmons waits on deck. And it's a running weak pop-up to the third base player, Cameron Wallman. One out. Melin Simmons up next. Set into the plate for the Lady Panthers. Shortstop, number two, Melin Simmons. Melin takes a deep breath, steps into the left-handed batter's box. Amy Abke looks over at the dugout and gets the sign. Here's the pitch. And it's to the shortstop, a soft liner and an out. Mackenzie Stutch charged in and scooped it about ankle high. And there are quickly two outs. And now if, if the Panthers are to do something in this bottom of the eighth, they gotta do it with two outs and nobody on. Jade Uresti, second base woman for Ridgepoint. Here's the pitch. She swings and it's down the left field line, drifting into the grass in foul territory.
Grace Yannick comes from the on-deck circle and picks up a bat that Uresti left behind to give it back to her. And during the baseball game, one of the Ridgepoint players, I'm not going to say who, forgot to pick up a bat and get it out of the way. So gauche. Nothing and won the count. Uresti ready. Here's the pitch. Good rip, but she just got a piece of it and fouled it straight back. It's nothing in two. And Uresti reaches down to tie her left spike. She's been getting dirty today. Open stance from the left-handed box. Here comes the 0-2. It's outside for ball one. Abke took a long look in like maybe she thought that was a strike. One and two the count, Uresti ready. Here it comes. Swings again with a big healthy cut, but just fouled, fouled it back straight into the screen and barely got a piece of it. Seven Lakes has out hit Ridgepoint four to three. But they've made two errors and one of those errors allowed Grace Yannick to come home when she came up in the seventh. Change up just missed away. Seven Lakes fans wanted a strike, but no, it's two and two. Uresti steps out, now back in. Abke ready, now here it comes. She hit it deep to left field. It's going to hold up there. And it's caught by the center fielder in left center field. And because I didn't get here before the game started and make my little chart and stuff, I don't know who that is until now. That's Megan Kelly. All right, we'll be back. It is still one to one as we go to the ninth inning Ridge Point season hanging in the balance. This is VipeFortBend.com. What does the 50th anniversary of Title IX mean? It means I'm valued. I'm empowered. I can do anything. It means I'll pave the way for every girl who plays high school sports in the future. Just like every female student, coach, official, and administrator blazed the trail for me. Because every student deserves the opportunity to play. Encourage girls you know to participate in Texas high school sports. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Don't miss the UIL State Softball Championships coming up in June at that McCombs Field in Austin. For more information about tickets and all that, go to UILTexas.org. Bailey Gray back out there to face her pitching counterpart, Amy Abke. So Abke, not just a great pitcher and a junior who will be back next year, but she's got a 465 on-base percentage during her district games for the season. She's hitting at 286, 425 on-base in overall games. Ridge Point's infielders meeting inside the pitcher's circle. Leading off the top of the line for the Lady Spartans, pitcher number nine, Amy Abke. Amy Abke. Obviously a fan favorite with the Seven Legs folks. She's very close to the front of the right-handed batter's box. Gray brings the first pitch, fouled out of play onto the tennis courts behind the third base or the first base stands. A little girl who looks like Cindy Lou Who from the animated How the Grinch Stole Christmas just ran by. And that is deep to center field. Callie Mays makes the catch. It had a lot of top spin on it. Callie with a lot of experience handling all kinds of fly balls. Ran it down and made it look pretty easy. One out and now it's back to Megan Kelly. When we started this 
late emergency coverage. She was the first batter that we saw for Seven Lakes. I wonder whatever happened to the other Megan Kelly. Haven't seen her in a while. First pitch is outside to Kelly and she stands closer to the front of the right-handed batter's box than Abke did. Gray takes her time, steps up, stands on the pitcher's rubber. Brings the 1-0, swing and a miss. Kept that one really low. In fact, it might have been below the knees. Gray ready. Here's the pitch. That's low, and that's a similar pitch, maybe a little bit lower, but that's the one that she was able to get Kelly to chase on the previous pitch, and it's 2-1. and one. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Way downstairs, and it's 3-1. and one. You don't want to give anybody a free pass. Bailey Gray ready. Kelly shows bunt, takes a strike at the knees. Over in the first base coaching box, one of the assistants for Seven Legs, kind of hopping up and down like, oh, can't believe it. But the count is now full. Here's the payoff pitch. And it's a soft liner to right field and it's down and it gets past Blaine Simmons. She picks it up, it's a double. Now she's coming to third, she falls down. And that's a break for the Panthers. Megan Kelly fell down coming around second and she had to go back to the bag. She would have been at third probably, although Malin Simmons was gonna, gonna make a strong relay throw. It was a pretty strong one. Now batting for Seven Lakes, first baseman number 15, Ashley Abel. One out, runner at second base, and Ashley Abel is the hitter. 3.06 for the district games this year. And the first pitch is chopped toward third base. It's a foul ball. Yannick went ahead and Made the play on it, and the home plate umpire said that when it went into her glove, it was in foul, the error of foul territory. And so Ashley Abel steps back into the box with an 0-1 count. Megan Kelly is at second base, represents the go-ahead run. Abel... Swings, ground ball to Simmons, looks the runner back, throws to first in time. Two away. Malin Simmons, nice and routine to Reagan Green. And I made another rhyme and it just happened that way. Left fielder, number seven, Emily Johnson. Emily Johnson now steps in. Bailey Gray massaging the softball, brings it. Slow ground ball to Yannick, throws to first, in time. And Seven Lakes gets a runner to second base, but they strand Megan Kelly there. And we'll be back, Ridgepoint, with another chance to win it in the ninth when we come back. Hey, Becky G, can you play your next hit? <laughs> I will, I will, as soon as it's released. But I've got another big hit for you. Did you know that with Xfinity Internet, you get fast, reliable speeds to fit your needs and budget? Oh, that's nice. Even Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig to power all your devices. Best of all, you could save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. It's official. That's a hit. Hey, we're on the radio. Now everyone can get the best value with Xfinity. Can your internet do that? Get GigSpeed Internet now for just $49.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract when you also get Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 63022. Restrictions apply. New gigabit internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and x gateway. Actual speeds vary. Compares pricing of top carriers. Xfinity Internet required. 
Grace Yannick leads off for the Ridgepoint Panthers in the bottom of the ninth. We're in our second extra inning. She's responsible for the only run of this ball game. She hit a solid smash to right center, went to the fence, but call it a little league homer. She got home on a throwing error and we've been at 1-1 ever since. First pitch from Abke, and that hits her. Her arm is hurting, but she's going straight to first base. Well, I was about to say that Grace Yannick is capable of hitting a home run, but she'll instead have to give Reagan Green that honor if Reagan wants to go long ball. Grace is really, that was a uh, softball and it's not a softball when it does that. It hits on, on the bone. Jeff Arsenault, the trainer for Ridgepoint is out there to make sure uh, Grace has some, some feeling. I mean, good feeling, you know, like at the end of her left arm. You know, her instinct was just to go straight to first base, but she needs a trainer's attention right now. Meanwhile, assistant coach Nate Peroni returns the uh, protective gear. By the way, Grace got hit on the left ankle in a recent game, and her dad drove all over Greater Houston to find just the right kind of ankle protector. And as a lady in Channel View said one time, very famously, the things we do for our kids. All right, so... I don't know why he didn't buy her a, a pad for the whole upper left arm. Moving in the box for the Lady Panthers, first baseman, number 12, Reagan Green. But how was she to know? I mean, how was, how was he to know? All right, Reagan Green into the box with power. She could send everybody from Ridgepoint home happy. Abkey brings it. Straight up, I mean, that's an elevator shaft pop-up to the catcher, and she's got it. That catcher being Emma Wingate, one out. Step into the box for the Lady Panthers. Catcher number 13, Braylon Daniels. Now Braylon Daniels gets her opportunity with one out, and Grace Yannick at first. If Yannick scores, this game is over and Ridgepoint will get ready to play game three tomorrow. Nice rip by Daniels, but she fouls it back and to the right. Night is falling on the hard scrabble streets of Siena. And the Panther girls hanging on to their playoff hopes like a rusty fish hook. Here comes the 0-1. Pitch is high. Throw down to try and get Yannick. She steals second. She is in scoring position. I say that pitch is high, and I was right. It's one and one on Braylon Daniels. Any hit to the outfield will probably get the job done. Abke looks at her wrist. Here comes the one one. Daniels hits it in the air down the right field line. It is caught. A beautiful diving catch, but Yannick tags up and moves to third. So the runner advances to third. Yannick will try to advance to home. And this kind of puts the pressure on Seven Lakes in that you can't let the ball get by you if you are the catcher, Wingate. Riley Ship is up with two outs. Abke looks at the dugout. Ship is ready. Here's the pitch. Takes a strike. Nothing in one. Abke burned off the outside corner. Ship with her jersey collar in her mouth. Ready in the left-handed batter's box. Here it comes. 
She hits it foul in the air and beyond the third base dugout. Indeed, it just takes one, but in this series, one has been hard to come by. Three runs scored, grand total by both teams. Ship takes one high. You can bet if the ball slips out of Wingate's mitt, Yannick is gonna come home. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss by, well, ship, swing and a foul tip by ship. Riley ready for the next one. Abke winds and brings it. It's way upstairs and Wingate saved a run, the run that would have won it. She had to come out of her crouch and reach up with her just long enough left arm. And it's two and two. Ship wants to be the hero. Ground ball towards first, picked up and the tag is missed. What's going on? No call, no call. Ship got to first base. She says she was never tagged. She's safe, she's safe. Bridge point wins. But wait a minute, I'm not even sure. Wait a minute, no, 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 no. Now the umpires say she's not safe. The umpires have to talk to each other. Ship avoided the tag, it appeared. Safe at first, Yannick scored. Bridge point wins. The baseball team is happy. The softball team is delirious. Ridge Point has kept their hopes alive with a win in game two. Two to one, the final. They wave at the Seven Lake Spartans and they know they'll see them tomorrow. I'll take a break. We'll be back, don't go away. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hey, batter, 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 swing. Oops, should have said driver. We love baseball season at First Tire and Automotive and want to see you swing by for great deals. $50 off brake pad replacement, buy one, get one free windshield wiper blades, $100 off four tires or $50 off two tires, and save up to $100 on Michelin, Continental, Goodyear, and Hercules tires. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Don't miss the UIL softball championships coming up at McCombs Field in Austin in June. And thanks to what happened at the end of this game, Ridgepoint still has a chance to get there. They win it 2-1. to one. I don't have the usual standard traditional 
statistical information. All I can tell you is Grace Yannick made it to third base with two outs. Riley Ship hit a soft ground ball to first base, and as she was motoring down the line, she somehow avoided the tag, got to first base. The call wasn't immediately made. The umpires had to talk to each other. Both teams were thinking that the call went their way. And finally, the umpire said Riley Ship is safe at first. And by that time, Grace Yannick had scored the winning run. Two to one is the final in this series. Both teams have been very stingy. So I may not be a smart man, but let's see. Four runs total have been scored by both teams in the first two games. And we will have game three at noon, win or go home. And we'll have it at 12 noon for you on VibeFortBend.com. So for everybody on the Vibe team, Les Clary, Bob McKay, Suna Venkat, Merle Bertrand, thanks for being with us for this mini game. We didn't get here until the seventh inning, or was it the sixth? It was the sixth. Ridgepoint wins, and they'll be playing tomorrow. Roger Smith saying goodbye and God, le God bless from the hard scrabble streets of Siena. Good night, everybody.